Well, my wife and I really recently celebrated our 30th anniversary. And, you know, what do you get a guy who can, who's pretty much got everything you ever wanted, you know, pretty much buy whatever. Well, if you're a fan of grumpy old men, you get him the Green Hornet. That's just the coolest gift I've ever gotten. I love it. So anyway, today I decided to come out here in front of our hunting camp, try it out, out here on the lake. We got a lake just full of pike. I mean, they're just like stupid easy to catch. It's just, it's, they're everywhere. I mean, you can catch them anytime, 24 seven, 365, anytime you feel like catching a pike, you just come out here and catch them. So we're gonna come out here, we're gonna try out the, the Green Hornet and uh, catch a few pike on it. All right, so these things have proven to be a little more challenging today than I thought, but I know a spot. Like, ooh, right there, about a quarter mile away. That's the hot spot. That's where we're going. Quarter mile walk. This is the spot. Decided pretty much wrap it up for the day because, well, let's face it, I mean, we're not doing a whole lot of good. But, you know, while I was out here fishing, you know, basically freezing to death, and I catch and eat fish, I decided to go ahead and Google uh, Northern Pike. Well, it turns out we're not trying to catch American Northern Pike. That's why I didn't catch any. We're after Canadian Northern Pike which basically explains why we didn't catch anything because we're using American, you know, inch lures where Canadians use millimeter lures. So basically we were doing all the right stuff, fishing all the right places, but due to the fact that, well, you know, we're after Canadian pike, which apparently were 
Paul was stuck in this lake. That explains why we weren't catching him. So we'll do it again next week. I know you're down there. Just bite. Please.